Stop harassing Okorocha, other Igbo presidential aspirants. Ohanieses won EFCC. My dear, if you have not been following us, please, we'll bring you up to speed quickly that it has been discovered because President Muhammad Buhari particularly is not, um, does not want an Igbo president. He's doing everything humanly possible to frustrate the opportunity for an Igbo man to become the president of the country. What are some of the things and uh, activities he has been engaged in? Some of these things include you know, ensuring that uh, uh, Roger Shokorocha, who is from the East, the East East, that wants to, you know, contest for such a position, is indicted. Are we saying he's a saint? That's not what we are talking about. You know, and are we saying anyone who has committed a crime should not be investigated and thoroughly dealt with? Not at all. But what are we saying? There are people in the North, I beg your pardon, go and investigate. If you know how much of wealth from this country they have stolen, the fear of God will catch you. You will not be able to speak. You will be you be caught to your heart. Like seriously, somebody can steal like this, you know. So there are a lot of things going on. And when it comes to Bokos who are terrorizing and destroying the nation, Buhari and the Attorney General has hidden the identity. But when it comes to others, he say bring them, kill them, eh, destroy them. But when it comes to their own, he does nothing about it. So you can see that. Um, truly, sincerely speaking, as a nation, if we must move forward, truth must be told. Stop harassing Okorocha, other Igbo presidential aspirants. Ohanieses won EFCC and Buhari. Ohanieses in the goals has accused the EFCC harassing Southeastern aspirants out of the 2023 presidential race. The Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization alleged that the commission is making itself a willing tool towards intimidating Igbo politicians. This is coming after the Anti-Grip Commission charged Senator Roger Shokorocha over fraud allegations. The Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohanieses, has issued a stern warning to the Economic and Financial Crime Commission. This has also been discovered that because President Muhammad Buhari do not want a South East president, he is doing everything to ensure that everyone who wants to come out from that region is frustrated. Mazi Oke Chuku, the President General of the Ohanese Zendubo Youth Council Worldwide, OYC, accused the EFCC of harassing people of the Southeast to for, forego their 2023 presidential ambition. Ashwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu, who has issues with EFCC, who all Nigerians saw with Bolivar, nothing has been done. EFCC has gone cold on that tray and has not done anything but go after other Nigerians because they feel they are soft targets. Mohamed Buhari's administration has been quiet towards other Nigerians who have committed one crime or another. The people sponsoring terrorist activities in this country has not been investigated, brought to book, but as soon as someone declares his intention to run for, for presidency, the same day EFCC comes after him. What does that tell you? A winch on because they know he has the possibility of winning the general election. And so to frustrate and to ensure that he has no opportunity to become Nigerian's president, they're doing everything possible to frustrate this. Nigerians must be wise that President Muhammad Buhari do not want the country to move forward and for an Igbo man to come into that position. But whether he likes it or not, he has no he has no say in who becomes Nigerian's president. He may think without him nothing will happen, but this is a stern warning that if you don't want us in Nigeria, we know what to do. Wow. You know, uh, I mean, they, they were not wrong by saying Tinobu had case with EFCC, but that case died a natural death. Yeah, he died in a, you did, you know, he died a natural death. In fact, Tinobu's case file was in the vault, all of his sodding. Have you heard of wings? Well, you've not heard. In Nigeria, we have a monkey, we have snakes, you know, they, they take money, they can open the vault, even flies, you know, they can take these things and uh, as come with it. So if you think that you have seen anything, you are, you are, you are joking. <laughs> You're just having a laugh, you understand? And uh, it's, maybe it's a French laugh. It's not the normal laugh, you know. So Nigeria, anything goes, really, sincerely speaking. You'll be shocked at some of the things that come out and you'll be wondering, is it for, is it for real? Is this happening? Sadly, my brothers, my sisters, did they happen? No. It goes shock you. That's what the matter they be. Well, Ohanieses Indigo have spoken. It is not fair. 
Raz Okorocha may not be a clean whistle, but however, he's not the only one. Okay? So, my wonderful people, this is what is happening right now as we speak. You know, it's no longer what you thought. You, you, you think that um, you have people who are genuinely interested in making a difference and um, are truly speaking in terms of truth, equality, fairness, and justice. You'll be shocked. <laughs> that terms is relative. Really it only comes into politics when somebody wants to make a point that favors them. If it doesn't favor them, then uh, uh, all hell can go loose. They don't care. But once it favors them, then the languages comes out. Ah, no. We should be working in terms of uh, we, should, we, should, we should uphold our values, those things that make us who we are. We should uphold those things that make us uh, one voice, one people speak against division because it suits you. Then when the tables turn, you see the same person saying, ah, no, it can never happen. No way. Hey, you see, now Buhari and his uh, agents, I call them agents, the EFCC, are doing everything humanly possible to ensure that uh, Dora Shokorocha do not get, you know, presidential ticket. In the first place, who said he was going to get it? But they should have allowed him go through the process because everybody has an equal opportunity and chance to make a difference, to, you know, to bring their own weight to the table. And who knows? You, who knows, you know, the, 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 the uh, uh, former governor, the present governor of Imo State, I beg your pardon, uh, Hope, whom the court said is qualified to be the governor, is the one who has a release statement telling Imos that, ah, uh, telling Nigerians, everyone and anyone who cares to listen, that Roger Sokorocha was the bad person for the job and that uh, Nigerians should rethink their decision if they want such an individual to be Nigerians' president. You know, you know, say pots, they call kettle black because they are two, they fight. You know, it was when both of them, when their fight really began, that we began to know that uh, the unknown godmen that, you know, her, her eyes and fingers have been pointed at, um, eyes and fingers have been pointed at, uh, you know, the, the very the very indigenous people of Biafra. We now found out that they have no knowledge of what was going on. In fact, they were just those who takes the fall. Okay, because it was just a cheaper option to say it was IPOB when they, they know themselves, they know what they have done. So welcome to Nigeria, where some people can do whatever they think they want to do and get away with it and nothing, no consequences. Leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. God bless you, have a lovely day. Bye for now.